my beautiful souls welcome to soul sessions welcome in welcome in if this is your first time finding me seeing me or anything um welcome in my name is sierra and i'm so happy to have you here if you are not yet following me on social media make sure you do that i will have all that linked in my description uh twitter instagram i'm on those a lot and I love when you guys send me messages. So make sure you stay connected with me there. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new here. If you're interested in a certain recipe and you want to see a video specifically on that, make sure you comment on any one of the videos, this video, leave me a comment, uh, share what you'd like to see, and I will make a video for you. I'm taking requests. Um, I've had many requests of herbal tea recipes since my most viewed video. If you have not seen that video, it will be linked below in my description. I have about 4,000 views on that video, which is huge to me. Um, it's my most viewed video and it's amazing because what I love to do, what I do naturally in my own home, a lot of people love to see as well. And a lot of people are very curious and eager to do themselves. So if you've not seen that video, stop this video right now and go check it out. It will be linked in my description. This video, I'm going to share with you my recipe for energy, clarity, and focus. This is the first episode of my herbal tea recipe series. But anywho, this is my collection. And this is the menu I was talking about. So I can go right to it from my experience of use using these herbs. And I see I have herbs that are great for clarity. Uh, energy right here herbs that are good for energy and focus so I'm just going to choose the ones I want to use and mix them together into this tea today so let me show you what I plan to use some herbs are specifically for energy clarity and focus and then some are ones I love to add into my tea mixes all the time so I pick those and the main star of the show is green yerba mate Green Yerba Mate is an alternative to caffeine. It gives me a really good boost, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna use that. And I get green because it's the most uh, pure. Peppermint leaf is great for clarity, energy, and focus as well. And if you have headaches, side note. Rosemary is, oh my goodness, rosemary is my favorite herb for those of you that don't know. So I'm gonna be using rosemary as well. And that's great for energy, clarity, and focus. Calendula flower is one I'm throwing in there. That is not specifically for energy, clarity, and focus. It's great for hydration, hair, skin, and nails. But I love to have this in all my teas because it's just all over beneficial when you use it in a tea. Turmeric I love just to have the health benefits from that. To glow from within helps with flushing out the system and detox and also um, inflammation. I'm also doing ginseng. Ginseng, as you know, is great for energy and focus. And some spirulina. I'm doing a little tiny bit of this. Spirulina is a protein, but also it is amazing for energy boost as well, clarity and focus. I'm just doing a little. For those of you that aren't familiar with spirulina, um, it is like an algae. And the taste of it is not the best, but if you were to just drink this by itself with like orange juice or any type of fruit juice, it tastes fine. So we're going to put a little tiny bit in the mix, and I'm of course going to use lemon juice and honey in my mix of tea today. So let me show you how much of each I'm going to use. So if you have not seen from my most few video, I showed you where I get these. These are just disposable tea bags. They're super easy to use. Um, and... I have said this before, I do not use a lot of measurements. I have done my research on certain herbs that I've used and it says don't don't use a lot of this or a lot of that. Um, so it has come from my own research, but it also just comes from uh, taste testing. So somebody asked me before, how do you know how much of herbs to use? And I said it's a lot of trial and error, but it's also from taste. So I go by taste most of the time. and just research on how to be cautious for how much of a certain herb to use because there are herbs that you don't need a lot of um, and if you do use a lot it can cause you to be nauseous or anything like that so do your own research we're going to start with the ginseng and i have this little beautiful bamboo spoon and i just take a little bit 
because you don't need a lot of ginseng usually. Then I go in with my turmeric. And turmeric, again, you don't need a lot of that because a little bit goes a long way. The taste is pretty um, distinct, so I don't use a lot. And I'll just do just a little tiny teaspoon, I would say. Okay, so this is a better view, hopefully, for you guys. So for the calendula, I actually show you as well in a video I've done recently where I buy my herbs from. So if you want to see where I purchase my herbs, if you're local to Austin, Texas, I've made a video on that. And I've also described other places I bought my herbs from before, so go check that video out. But as you can see, this one, you can see the actual bud of the flower. Calendula flower. Um, so I just put the whole bud in there and that's really all I need. I just need that to soak into the mix to get the benefits of that. Peppermint leaf. Peppermint is pretty strong. I do about two spoonfuls of that. My rosemary. I am not gonna lie, I do a lot of this just because I love the aroma and I love the taste of rosemary. So I, built, I do about three spoonfuls of that. But just keep in mind, my spoon is super small. So a teaspoon, you know. It, again, it's all trial and error. And then last but not least, oh no, sorry. Next up is the green yerba mate, which is the main ingredient because that is alternative to caffeine. Pretty generous with this. And spirulina, last but not least. A little tiny bit. For those of you that don't know, look how green it is. It is an algae. It does smell and taste very strong. I can't explain it. I personally don't like the taste by itself. It's not that great, but look at that beautiful green color. And it stains the fingers and stuff like that, but it easily washes off. Look at that spirulina. I advise everybody to get some spirulina. And if you drink like protein shakes or any like juice mixes, um, this is amazing for protein and it gives you a really good boost for energy too. Here's the finished product. This is my tea bag ready to be dropped into my hot water. My teapot I use if I'm going to be drinking tea throughout the day as I'm inside. I always use my teapot and my beautiful little teacups I got. And for anybody that wants to know, I got these from thrifting. Like any thrift shop, antique shop. Honestly, I got like a set of I think six of these from Goodwill. Uh, yeah, and they were amazing. They were in good shape. So I do a lot of thrifting and I really enjoy that too. So I'm just gonna pour this. And I let... I let this soak for about 20 to 30 minutes just to let the herbs really seep into that hot water. We do a little lemon juice. Honey is a must for me in my teas. So yeah, I always use honey. It's time to pour. beautiful mixture and I like to stir the mix before I pour it again but yeah that is my mix for the day mm. that tastes really really good it tastes like sweet lemonade a hint of rosemary peppermint 
Cheers. beautiful souls that is it for this video today if you want to see all the places i recommend to buy herbs from where i bought my herbs from before make sure you check my description box out everything will be linked below as well as that video where i show you my favorite local herb shop here in austin texas um thank you for being with me that tea was amazing it was really delicious i can't wait to drink that throughout my day today to help me accomplish all the things that i need to get done super excited to clean and organize and run errands on my day off today and that's going to be much needed for that energy boost and that focus and clarity if you enjoyed this video today make sure you give it a thumbs up and stay tuned because i have many more recipes on the way i love you beautiful souls take care of yourself have a great day peace